Most people in America are looking for how do I make a life worth living and a return with having. In order to do that, you have to be focused on what your true calling is for the house of God. If you don't know what that is, and sometimes you need a prophet like me, or someone who is a mentalist like me, either side of me, to help you to establish what you're good at, and to help you evaluate why you should do that. But openly, how can you apply that to a real-world job opportunity? And that's what people like me do. When I'm consulting a business, I listen carefully to what they're attempting to accomplish, but I also look at how they're spending their money, what are their expenditures, and what are their income. You see, you can't be a non-for-profit if you haven't tested whether or not the non-for-profit will work. And while you might have funding and a whole bunch of people, 15 people might have funding, if those people are entrusting you with that money, they're going to have to send someone to kind of scope over you and what you've said you're going to do. And that's just good timing and not good refining, but it is the truth that people are entrusting you with their money, they're entrusting you with their goods, they're entrusting you to deliver what you promise. I was just applied with by a female from the Black Queens community who communicates she's a part of some Diva Queens group and they have 15 ladies in that group who are concerned with poverty in the community. It's also very possible that she's a part of some social crisis social work group, but I put it to her about do you do for people like me who are not in poverty because of choices that we technically solely made. It doesn't mean that we didn't go through a downturn in the economy and it doesn't mean that we didn't have opportunities that we might have missed in working through the challenges of loss. But the reality is we're not here because of vanity or vices. Vices are the codependencies that people have in terms of their hacking socially people like me. In other words, attacking people like me as a fun game for them. In other words, what gave them the right to hack my computer and stalk me enough to do it? What gave them the right to put their hands on my face, ruin my beard for my priesthood? Tell me what gave you the right to do that. What gave you the right to put your hands inside my zipped pockets, even with inside the second pair of pants I wear for keeping warm? What gave you the right to do that? Nobody in this world gave you the right to do that. So that's your vanity, thinking you had the right to do that.